What's up, y'all? This is Entendre. In the last video, I talked about using follow actions to create interesting rhythmic patterns using multiple beats or whatever you want, really. Now, in this video, I'm going to talk about dummy clips, and I'm also going to demo the new Serum Effects module. So, let's check it out. So, here's the kind of thing we were doing in the last tutorial. So, I'm going to play the beat, and you'll see it just loops around. It's combining all these different beats to create one beat. So now we're going to affect that beat. So I've created an audio track here. I'm going to drag the serum effects on here. And I'm going to route the audio from this track into track two. And then I'm going to set this to in. And so now when I play this, we should be able to hear this going through serum effects. So let's hear that. Okay, and so right now there there are no effects enabled, so <clears throat> let's just turn on the delay for for this example. All right, so that's fun. Let's tweak the settings here. that okay so this is about dummy clips so so what we're gonna do here I'm gonna record an empty clip here so I'm just setting this to off and now I'm gonna record and it doesn't matter how long the clip is this is just our, our blank dummy clip so that's what we'll call it for now well yeah why not okay so the cool thing about this is you can go in here hit this edit mode here well actually no it's E for envelopes but I always think edit when I see it for some reason because that's what I do when I get in here is edit things so let's go in and take a look in this envelope mode, you can grab whatever device and control its parameters. So this is cool because, all right, so check this out. I'm gonna group the serum effects by hitting Command G. And so now we have an effects rack here. I'm gonna go ahead and drag another instance of the serum effects rack and in the second instance I'm going to choose the cool thing about this new serum effects rack is if you choose one of the presets that you've made or that comes with serum it's just gonna play the effects from that play the sound through those effects so that's pretty cool so let's hear the Wait, I'm going to turn the first one off, and now let's hear this one. And i got to set this to N again. Okay, really loud. So I'm going to turn that down. All right. Okay, so that's kind of cool. Now let's let's go ahead and create a third track here. Select another preset and see what that sounds like. All right, that'll work. Let's create a, a fourth one. And let's see, I'm just going to initialize this. I'm going to turn on this filter. Okay, and let's see here. I'm going to close some of these out. Now in this filter one, I want to be able to control the filter easily. So I'm going to hit this configure button. 
I'm going to hit the cutoff here and that loads it down here. So then I'm going to map this to macro one. Okay, so let's get into the dummy clips. So I'm going to go in here and since that macro one is the last thing I clicked on, that's what we see selected in the envelopes. And actually right now I'm going to make a chain of each one of these. So I just hit this chain button and I move each one to its own position. And then I'm going to map this to macro two. So now this moves between all the different effects here. And let's see, I'm going to go into this map mode and I'm going to choose this chain and I'm going to bring it from one, zero to three. So that should be all four of these different effect styles. Now I can turn these back on and yeah, let's check this out. So I'm going to click on the chain selector and I'm going to go and add a node here and we're going to make sure that's on zero. So this is going to be our first effect. Now I'm going to hold option and copy this dummy clip and I'm going to go ahead and bring this up to number one. And now I'm going to bring, do it again and bring this one up to number two. And number three. Okay. And then on number three, I'm going to go in here. I'm going to grab this effect or the, uh, the filter cut off, just open it like this. Okay. So now let's check this out. So you can see a lot of potential there, I would hope. Um, sorry about the clipping. Now, let's see, these can be sequenced using follow actions as well. So that's fun. So after one bar, I can have them automatically go to the next. So let's check that out. <laughs> So yeah, that's really, really interesting to me. Um, now, let's see, you could map whatever parameters you want from Serum to these macros and control them however you want in these and trigger them however you want. And just endless fun right there. So yeah, for example, I could take this, um, let's see, what do I want to tweak here? Um, hmm. uh, all right, let's change the, well, we could change this, the frequency here. So you don't even have to map it necessarily, I don't think. See, it's already selecting the delay frequency here, so I don't have to put it on a macro. I can just go ahead and and do that. And you can make whatever patterns you want here. So let's, I'm going to turn off these follow actions. And we can just hear what this sounds like. So that's cool. And then yeah, I mean, with the follow actions, like I showed in the last video, you could turn on legato and you could do next or you could randomize it. You could set this to whatever interval you want. So let's check this out now.
So yeah, I hope that was really helpful to you. I feel like I learned something. So yeah, until next time, I'm Antandra. Feel free to check out my beats at soundcloud.com slash Antandra. And stay connected. Peace.